coming up in Mizzerktastic. Mizzartastic on TPT to find hundreds and hundreds of art lesson plans and resources that you can use in your classroom. They're all easy to use, kid friendly, engaging, and fully prepped so you can say bye bye to the stress and hello to success. Now let's head on in to this episode. Hi there! I'm Mizzartastic and today we're going to learn all about caterpillars and butterflies. Did you know that there are almost 20,000 different species of butterflies? It's true. Butterflies are insects, so they have six legs. They also have three parts to their bodies. They have the head, the middle part, which is a thorax, and the other rest of the body part, the lower part, which is called the abdomen. They also have antennae which they use to sense their environment and they navigate primarily well at least in the case of butterflies they they navigate the through the world using their wings let's take a look at the butterfly life cycle so there is an adult which is the butterfly the butterfly then lays eggs the eggs then hatch into larvae which we call caterpillars the caterpillars then, one day after eating and eating and eating, turn into a pupa or a chrysalis, which then will hatch and emerge from the pupa into a butterfly. And then that new butterfly will fly around through the world until one day it lays its own eggs. And that is the butterfly life cycle. Now let's head on over to the art studio where we're going to draw a cute caterpillar and make a butterfly artwork. Okay, we're gonna create our cute caterpillar. First, we're gonna grab something to draw with. I'm gonna draw a circle for caterpillar's eye. And we're gonna draw a big circle and a small circle. And then we can color in the dark of the eye for cute caterpillar. Leaving just the circles white. And we'll do a smaller circle over here that's farther away. And another big circle and small circle. visualize the face. Let's add a circle up and over and below. Let's make a curve line. And now we're going to add bumps. Cross. Curve line down. Now we're going to add a curving little oval at the front. And now we're just going to oops, Curving lines and attach point across. And then just in the front here, I'm going to have some peeking out from the other side. Let's add some spots and a couple of 
stripes. I'm just doing some curvy features here. We'll add a little tail at the butt. I can add a little antennae. So I'll add two little curving pieces up and we'll add just some feathery zigzags around it. And now we're ready to color our caterpillar in our choice colors and our making mediums. So whatever you want to use, use your favorite things. On the legs, I'll leave a little bit of weight at the top again for shading. To a butterfly. Okay, we're gonna first take our paper. It's in landscape orientation or hot dog. We're gonna fold it in half. Okay, we're gonna open it, and now you can see there's a line down the center. So we're gonna draw our butterfly's head, thorax, and abdomen down that line. We're gonna draw the head. two eyes and I would like to color them in leaving a little bit of white in each eye so it looks shiny and add my antennas I'm gonna use zigzag lines to make a nice little fluffy thorax and a nice big long abdomen down and then I'm gonna thicken up that line so it stands out and then I'm gonna add my Ladybug's legs by adding three curving lines or three ovals on each side. I'm gonna add some more texture on the thorax 
and curving lines on the abdomen so it looks round. Look how nice that looks. I'm gonna add a little spiral with the proboscis on here, the mouth. Okay, curving line up on each side. Curving line down and up. Down and up. And this is a great way to explore symmetry now. If you think about it, symmetry is balance. Whatever we do on one side, it's the exact same but mirrored on the other. So the butterfly is a great example of symmetry. We're gonna add a curve on the bottom here. Curving line around. Again, what I do on one side, I do on the other. Curving little teardrop shape in this one. Big circle on each one. Small circle in each. And then two small circles in here. Okay, or make up your own design. Whatever you do on one side, do the exact same, but mirrored on the other. Okay, now we're gonna paint only one side. So I'm gonna get some more paint that's wet here. I'm gonna paint half the body right along that line. legs just on one side only. I'm going to paint the wings out. You can paint using tempera paint. I'm just using some tempera paint and we're going to use just paint in our own choice colors. We're only painting one side of our butterfly. You can apply it thicker versus being thin because it's about to get thinner in a second here. Painting this inside. Okay, painting in our spots. Here we go, magic. Okay, we're gonna take it. We're gonna fold it in half. And we're gonna smush our butterfly! Okay, don't need to hit it, but give it a nice rub. Okay, ready? Here we go. Check it out. And just like that, your beautiful butterfly is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. 
if you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.